Hey guys, I'm Kelly and I'm one of the health coaches here at Parsley Health. As a health coach, I talk a lot about food and nutrition with our members. But in addition to your food, what you intake in terms of fluid and water is a really important component of your intake as well. The reason water is so important is because it makes up 60% of your body volume. With that in mind, it has a multitude of functions in the body as well. Water is responsible for helping with digestive processes, lubricating joints, regulating body temperature through sweating and respiration, normalizing blood pressure, flushing bacteria from your bladder, as well as carrying essential nutrients and oxygen into the cells. In general, the Food and Nutrition Board recommends that most women get about 91 ounces of water per day and men get 125 ounces per day. But this doesn't have to be through food intake alone. It also counts about what water you're getting from your food. For example, watermelon, cantaloupe, cucumber, celery, cabbage, lettuces, all 90 to 99% water content. So the more fresh fruits and vegetables you get in the diet, the less you have to drink water, in theory. Also, thanks to be mindful of, you have more fluid losses as an athlete or someone who exercises a lot because you're gonna be sweating more. So when you are exercising, it's important to hydrate before, during, and after exercise to stay replenished. In addition to feeling thirsty, you might notice other signs of dehydration to be mindful for. For example, dizziness, weakness, overall lethargy, low blood pressure, and the most obvious of all, dark urine. The darker your urine is, the more concentrated it is, and therefore, the more dehydrated you are. Caution, do not overhydrate. Also can be a problem and potentially life-threatening. Not to scare anyone, but the goal would be not to have more than 25 to 30 ounces of water per hour to prevent any negative side effects of overhydration. Although coffee and tea are mild diuretics, meaning they're gonna make you urinate more, and they do increase release of sodium and water from your kidneys into your bladder and urine, they also, your body's smart enough to know what fluid to hold on to, so they're not responsible for making you completely dehydrated. As a rule of thumb, it's usually a good idea that when drinking a cup of coffee or tea, you pair it with a glass of water to stay balanced. Overall, there is no one-size-fits-all method for understanding how much water a body needs. In fact, your body does a really good job of regulating how much it needs on its own, but you need to be mindful of its cues and letting you know when it needs more, such as some of the ones mentioned earlier, and of course, your thirst mechanism.